the Taliban are almost exclusively Pashtuns. The Taliban and the, the Pakistanis and the ISI have sought to mold an Islamist identity for the Taliban. But since they are all Pashtuns, they also have the Pashtun nationalist identity. And now that they have a country of their own, which they have always sought, these uh, sentiments will come to the fore. As of today, it's a very complex, very rapidly evolving situation. We need to wait and watch. Many parties, many actors are trying to uh, gain some sort of foothold and some sort of leverage over the Taliban. The ISI created them during the Benazir Bhutto's time. So definitely they have the tentacles inside the Taliban. But after all, the Taliban have their own country. Now they have been able to capture the country without any significant help from the ISI or the Pakistanis. It happened almost overnight because the Americans handed over the country to them on a platter, essentially. Right. So because of that, the leverage that the Pakistanis sought to have has greatly diminished. Of course, the ISI is still involved. They were, the ISI's chief was in Kabul very recently overse overseeing the Panjashir operations. Mm -hmm. Like you said, the Haqqani network also has involvement with the Taliban and all, but the Taliban identify themselves as Pashtuns, as Afghan nationalists. They have their version of Sharia law that they want to impose on Afghanistan, which is definitely Islamist. But at the very core, the, the, the genesis of the Taliban goes back to the 1980s and the Mujahideen movement against the USSR occupation of Afghanistan. So it's always been about Pashtun and Afghan nationalism. And now that they have a country over, of their own, I see that in the next 10 years, because in geopolitics, this, the shortest period of time in which you can see genuine change is the decade. So I foresee over the next 10 years, there's going to be significant friction between the Taliban if they manage to establish themselves and the Pakistanis. Because the right. Taliban, the Afghans have never recognized the Pakistan-Afghanistan border, the Durand line, which was brought about in 1893, I think. So that is going to become, that is going to come to the fore as time progresses, as they entrench themselves and consolidate their position. Mm -hmm.